A mink farm in Northumberland County is actively searching for thousands of mink that were released yesterday morning. Newswatch 16's Chris Keating is live near that farm with more details. Chris. Hi, Lisa. Yeah, that mink farm is right beyond this cornfield right behind me. It's just maybe half a mile down the way. It's right back there. But right now we're along Route 890 just south of Sunbury. And people here that live in this area have said they have found multiple to many to tons of uh, mink roaming their yards. And earlier today we spoke with someone from the Pennsylvania Game Commission who say if you see one of these animals, don't approach it. According to state police, in the early hours of Sunday morning, someone broke into this mink farm located along Route 890 in Rockefeller Township, just south of Sunbury. Whoever broke in cut holes in the fencing and opened up all the cages. Approximately 7,000 um, were escaped with inside the facility. Now, how many actually got out from inside that fence area, um, we don't know. Um, but it was a, a sizable number from our estimation. Thousands of mink are now roaming this section of Northumberland County. All of the mink released were bred in captivity and may be different than those found in the wild. Mink that escaped are going to be a couple different colors. You're going to see them in the white color phase, black and brown. Most of the wild mink in Pennsylvania are going to be of that brownish, tannish color. Newswatch 16 spoke with a Pennsylvania game warden about what you should do if you see one. Just stay away. Um, don't touch it. Don't try to trap it. Don't try to catch it. Um, they will bite you. They can potentially hurt you. We want to make sure the public is safe. These mink could also pose a threat to other animals. The nearby Sunbury Animal Hospital talked about ways to keep your pets safe. Don't let them out unattended. Take your dogs out on a leash. Mink might not be big enough to go after a big dog, but it doesn't mean they can't get injured by one. I would suspect cats and kittens, kittens especially, could be at risk. Any animals you keep outdoors could be at risk. People with koi ponds, with backyard poultry, with rabbits outside. Um, first thing I would tell you is maybe talk to the game commission or check the internet for ways to kind of discourage the mink from getting near those areas. And Lisa, right now, at the live on television, just as we were about to come back to us, a mink has now popped out of the cornfield. My cameraman Tom is shot in on them. Tom, can you, it might be hard to see, it's just beyond the brush right there, but there is a black mink that's on your screen right now. Um, they're everywhere. I mean, this morning when we showed up at Route 890, they were all along this road. They had been hit by cars. There was more than a dozen uh, roadkill mink just right here on Route 890 alone. Now, the mink farm right now is actively trying to trap these mink, uh, and we talked to state police today. They're investigating. They still don't know who broke into the mink farm and released all these mink. They're still working on that, and like I said, the mink farm is still working to trap all of these mink here in this area, and we'll obviously we'll continue to follow the story as we get more information. Chris Keating, Newswatch 16, reporting live in Northumberland County.